So here we are again with Tails again and Factor. That's me. That's my job right now. Okay. So let's just wait a little bit. Hmm? Just waiting a little bit. Mm -mm. For people to get online? Yeah, maybe one or zero. And my history happens to be that. <laughs> That's good music, huh? Nein, I could, no? That would be a, a really good prog song. Mm. So, have you explained what, what game this is? No, uh, but the thing is, as I am storing over, I can do it. Okay, okay. okay. No. So you can, and everybody else can. No. So we go and play this little fella right here. This is the original game, and uh, I'm gonna play on an emulator because I wanted to have the English translation in the in the game per se. Is there an English? Translation for, for this? Yes, but it's you will see. Eventually, it's like all of the beginning. Sorry, all of the beginning <laughs> is translated, uh -huh. and later on, it starts like only Japanese. Okay, it's like they didn't finish it, I guess. Okay, but okay. So about backstory. This is the um, the sequel to Tales of Fantasia the original and first tales ever so this is like a demake so to say it where uh, of course the graphics and the power that the Famicom or SNES had for the Tales of Fantasia this the Game Boy Color is inferior so there will be some differences uh, in gameplay and of course the the, the game as a whole so um, yeah maybe we can start anyway people as Andrew have already seen like the explanation so we gonna do this from start yes a child has a big possibility, possibility. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. And a child learns from action and grows looking up to their parents, I guess. <laughs> Born with pure heart, they are twins of girl and boy. You see? Boy. Boy. A beautiful night as if star was falling. Star was... What? Star fell from the sky. That was something a like that. You went to the mountain to see a falling star. You found a blinding light, but that was not all. There were also two babies in the light. That really, really was a surprise. You thought it is not safe, and you took them babies. <laughs> After that, you searched, but you could not find the parents. Since you are kind, I am, you decided to raise them. You're a kind god, like Thanos. That's the only thing I don't. Let's name the babies. So it's Mel, or Meru, in Japanese. But why Meru? Meru? Because of the game? Yeah, yeah, that, that, there's like the default, oh, okay. or the name of the girl. Sleeping girl. Smell. And Dio. No, well, okay. You no, want, that's okay. You want another game? A name? Maybe, but no, Dio, Dio it's okay. The, the thing like, is. Dio, can you we hear only, me? I'm lost. We only have Japanese characters, so it's 
yeah. As you can yeah. see, not everything is in in Dio it is. <laughs> so the easier it is. Healthy boy and crying baby. Who appeared in the night. Well, what will await them? Shakata! <laughs> so this is the um, intro credits. How would you call it? Yeah. And the thing about this game is that. We have outfits, and that's the main thing in, in this game. These two characters, Mel and Dio, are Nari Kirishis, which means the one that can become anything. So they wear, for example, the archer, and they can become archers. They win the artist, they wear it, and they can be an artist or a princess, princess clown. Buffoon, Moto Isakurada, the all-time composer from Tales, a magician mm -hmm. with a little dog, okay. fortune teller. What? What? A uh, fortune teller? Yeah. Prince. Prince. Swordsman? Swordswoman? Produced by Nanko. Fly, I see no. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So. Okay, two children have grown into these little fellas. Up well, strong minded male, playful deal. Actually, these two have special power. A mysterious power. Um, I will explain more about that later. Okay, they can't use that power yet, so please guide them. Okay. Well, here. This is our house, the Narikirishi house. You and me live here. This is on an island south of Freyland. Freyland is uh, the same world as Tales, in Tales of Fantasia, the first uh, game. Mm hmm. But now it is AC448. Okay. Uh, peaceful era. Mm -hmm. And Dio arrives and says, "Hey, <laughs> oh hi, huh? Who's that? This? I found it at the mountain. It's mine. Cute. It has a star mark." Okay, your name is Star Lord the Great. Mm-hmm. Isn't cute name better? The, the thing is, it's called Kururu. Kuru. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe the characters. I'll get that. It's a package for me, I'll get it later. Okay. It's Kururu, and... Very similar to Pokemon. Okay, I'm sorry. Very similar to Pokemon, this little guy says the only thing or word or whatever he says is Kururu. So that's why they call him Kururu. It's saying Kuru. Kuru Kuru. And Kuru, hmm, weird. Alright, Kuru, it is. These three will be on an adventure. Actually, this Kuru, not, not now. You'll understand soon. As Dio and Mel grow more info about the pet. What? Pet changes shape with attitude or level. That's the thing with this little guy. He's gonna change its shape into something completely different randomly. I don't, I don't actually know why. Lawyer or wild. Pets add changes. And that's it. Press A button too for the bookcase to read information. Yeah, this is the Narikiri book. There are four rooms in the Narikiri house. Left is Dio, right smell. Above is Martel's room. Martel is like the goddess 
which also exists in Tales of Symphonia because Acelia, the, the world we are living in, it is the same as Tales of Symphonia but thousands of years later. Hmm. So we didn't know that. So we have the same summon spirits and, and mm. so. Okay, okay, okay. But no no of course the characters have passed away probably. <laughs> so yeah. In my gender, I am a <laughs> female. My name is <laughs> What are you gonna name him? I'm gonna be uh where is it? It's uh it's like this. What's that? Oh. That's my name in Japanese. Paburo. Panko? Paburo. Paburo? Mm -hmm. How do you and Mel call you? Uh, Paburo, I said. Like something great, like family, or my something name? Something great. Come on. My master. master. Darling, greedy, mighty. I am mighty. Then it is mighty. But you can change if you want. Talk to this frog. And some more information. Hold A to dash and start bottom for the map. There we go! We have a food bag where we can store food, of course and recover HP. We have gummies, which are the gels that later appear in all of the Tails games. And these gels... Ow, I don't like this position. <laughs> <laughs> it's hurting my back. Oh, How were you playing before? A little bit more. Uh, over here and with another chair. Mm, okay. Just like that. Yeah, that's better. Yep. Okay. This is Dio's room. We have lots of treasure. And we have closets where we are gonna be able to change our clothing. We have an earring, the fighter costume, and an item to change ourselves without using the closet. For example, in dungeons, you might want to change your outfit. You can use it right there. I'm gonna grab some more items in Mel's room. This is so lovely. <laughs> Hunter outfit. And another change. Change W. So before going out, let's use. So I think the best is to have the squire for Dio and some kind of mage for Mel. And that's about it. And we have the northern part of the house where there are paintings in Martel's room, and it's the most important. Uh, how to say? It? most important room in the house but well why would someone have that why would someone have paintings as why like everybody has paintings i know but as you can see the house has nothing to do it's like a statue and four Painting. paintings okay yeah that's weird but um uh, you know there is a remake of this game for the playstation portable where everything makes sense. They actually... It's a good remake, because I think the best things about it are that the story is deeper within. There are actors, like voice acting, and uh, as opposed to this one, for example, in this one, you will get the four outfits we would just uh, saw, like the fighter, hunter, mage, and squire. And out of those, you gotta combine every time you master them, which you will actually achieve that by playing 
uh, battles and every time you finish a battle you get experience, costume points and god. So with these costume points you will get to master the every outfit. So you have to master an outfit and another and then combine them to make a new one. So imagine there are countless of combinations. So it's <laughs> pretty um uh, I don't know abrumador? How do, um, um overwhelming. Overwhelming. There are so many. And as opposed to the the PlayStation Portable, you have a menu that it's costumes and you have the empty slots where you can actually choose and see which one you don't have and actually see how many there are so it's it has uh, improved improvements the the PSP it is very very good so getting back to the point uh, in this story there are at, at the beginning there are no no paintings and then somebody gives them to you because they are magical but in here it, they are always there so this is Yggdrasil's sister Martel and there is a statue in the Daos's War which is the um, the enemy from Tales of Fantasia the original the as in they saying right now in Deus's war she saved Daos and his planet huh what was that we just we did see that right so okay we're gonna go outside now now where do you want to go hmm The great fairy from the Legend of Zelda appears. I am Nord. <laughs> you are born with doomed destiny. Your sin in the past that you don't know, and sin you may commit. Future can be changed. You may perish with doomed destiny, or open up. I think I. Your, um, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I made it all better, I think. You did? Yeah, because we had the Twitch window closed. Now we have it open. Oh, okay, 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 I get it. Here it is. To see whatever happens. Now we have it open again, and then, yeah, like that. Perfect. No, no worries, okay. Um, so... Yeah. There's our destiny. First you need to meet one of the heroes. These heroes are called the Eternal Heroes, who were the six heroes from Tales of Fantasia. So we, it is a she this time, at the top of the tower. Let's talk more when you arrive there. Disappeared. <laughs> anyway, let's go out. <laughs> so... We're gonna go to the village and talk to this girl. A witch tower? A weird girl lives there. Want a password for entering? Sure not. Cute, pretty, very lovely. Like a witch. What a weird song. Okay, that's a fanfare for every time you get it something important in Tales of Fantasia. Cute, pretty, very lovely. Nothing. So Mel has an idea. Cute, pretty, very lovely. It's open. Some info about the dungeon. Dungeon types are divided into tower and cave. Tower uses up and cave uses down staircase to advance. So we have dungeons in here. I think they call it an 
dungeon crawler, you know, this type of genre in video games is like, uh, would you like Pokemon Mystery Dungeons, where there are floors and you just go down or up, and they are uh, randomly generated, and you just gotta discover crawling through the dungeon what there is in that floor, and then you move on. Once you move on, you cannot go back. But you can use a wing boot, which is an, an item like an escape rope in the Pokemon series, where you can escape. And you can display your map, so you can see where you have walked. Anyway, it's a mysterious dungeon. More info? Yes. There are traps that make you fall, and you gotta defeat the, dun the boss at the end. There's gonna be a star mark where you have uh, cleared. This is this dog statue, or is it dog or an elephant? <laughs> what? Oh, it's not an elephant. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, if you talk to this, you will get info on battle. Rhinoceros? Weird. <laughs> she's on drugs, bro. Wing boot, so what? we can get out. <laughs> yeah, she's on drugs. So yeah. This is the, the dungeon, so we're gonna start our battles. Life bot to do. So as you can see, we have our cute little sprites here and those enemy bees. So we can as you can see as we have the skills for the three of them. And I don't, still don't have anything because I am a very low level dude. Our items, uh, attack, change tactics, defend or run. So we're gonna attack. But the, the good thing about this gameplay is that um, it is sort of wanting to emulate how Tales of games are played, which are like an action RPG. This time because of the... Um, how to say it? the capabilities of the Game Boy Color it is not precisely uh, an action RPG but it is not turn based either as you can see if I don't choose anything if I just attack the battle is gonna keep on going there's not gonna be a menu involved and they stab me in the face in the forehead I'm sorry. And Kururu is super OP. Okay. He always kills. And as you can see, it's experience, costume points, and god. So that means I actually learned a skill. So now we can equip it for the shortcuts like up, uh, left, or right, and down. So I'm gonna assign it. Majinken? Majinken, which is the uh, demon fang. Mm. For the demon fang, demon fang. Yeah. So, when it's my turn, a little uh, arrow is gonna point on my head. <laughs> you fighting? Mm -hmm. You see, now it's my turn. That's why I have an arrow. Now I can use my shortcut and okay, screw it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Where was the demon thing? <laughs> uh, I was up, but I, I pressed A before the mm, arrow. Oh yeah. So, yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> I, I'm gonna start doing the battles more quickly. The advantages of using the emulator, right? So yeah, we do this. Oh, sorry. Still. Did it wrong again. <laughs> but he said. Okay, let's let's see if I can do it. See. There we go. Demon hmm. Fang! Now there it is. Yeah, there it is. And if every time you use a skill, it is supposed to um, so this is like the midpoint. You can change costumes if you want to, 
or just keep on going. In our status, we can see that we have 19 out of 60 custom points, so we have not mastered this outfit yet. So we don't have, well, it wouldn't make sense to change now. Black bear. So kill him. There we go. Some guide. Some. Be right back. An apple for food back. I killed Mel. I'm gonna repeat real quick. <laughs> I didn't want to die. Okay. Sorry for that. I just gotta keep on fighting so I can level up. And actually, don't die. That would be the best thing to do. So now I'm gonna... Yes. Metal, do you have... Use your fireball. Also. So... <laughs> I'm gonna use it slower because I don't want to die. <laughs> Take that. There you go, Owl. You can do it. Oof. My Kururu's turn again. I guess his speed stats must be very higher at least than ours. That's why he attacks twice. You know? Mm. Okay, this time we didn't die. And then he's dead. We did level up, didn't we? Yes, level 4. Okay, I'm gonna use some uh, red gummies to recover a little bit of health, because I was Suffering. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I think I learned an another skill. Yeah. We have the sword drain. Ground wave. But it's the demon fang. If any anyone has played Tales of Symphonia, it's demon fang. Mm-hmm. Another red gummy, yes. I've got a... which floor am I? Five. We have um, one more. One more floor. Okay, let's use our sword rain. Black bear. This is strongest, I, I think. Yep. This no one dies. No one. Oh, he mill. Don't you dare. Kuro, please cure her. There we go. Now I'm gonna use my shortcut. There we go. The thing about shortcuts is that uh, you would attack the most left... How to say it? The enemy that is at the most left. So... You gotta think what you're doing when you are using your shortcuts. Because maybe you wanna you don't wanna attack the weakest enemy, you wanna attack the the strongest, right? So yeah, this bad is there. And look, I don't know why he changed. No? Kuru changes shapes out of nowhere and I don't understand the reason why he does it, but he's he's a good guy. We like him. Okay, now everyone is level five, right? Great. We're gonna use some um how to say it? some items to recover. I don't know, maybe 
just TP, that would be awesome. Or Kudu, because he uses a lot. Let's just grind a little bit more, so we can... What's our... Yeah, 12 more custom points. This is the same theme as the battle theme in Tales of Fantasia. Well, if you're, if you did play Tales of Fantasia, it's gonna be there's gonna be a very familiar soundtrack on the GB Game Boy Color um, 8 bit system. Good. Dun, 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 dun. Very lovely. Yeah, you're dead beat, sorry. No, oh, we're not done yet, right? 54. Okay. This, this is the last floor because the floor number 7, or so to say, the. Um, how to say it? The next to last floor is like a checkpoint where you can um, you can save or you can either exit the dungeon before the final boss. Maybe you wanna grind some more and like this. As you can see, we have the next floor is the final floor. The dungeon boss is waiting there, or maybe not. Change or save and prepare. Of course we want to have our um, how to say our already mastered. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much Josbe and the healer. Wasn't it in Japanese? Yes Josbe, that's why I restarted uh, real quick everything because I have an English patch on an emulator now so I could play faster now and you're gonna see either way that some of the texts are not in English because it is not uh, it is not finished the translation but I have a translation guide so now we will know exactly everything we missed on this previous fight you remember Hey, <laughs> welcome. I am an, the owner, I think, of this tower. What? That looks... Shouldn't you be surprised like... Yikes! You are Arch? Yikes! Who? I am Norn. You are Arch? Dio Mel, the time of the judgment has come. From now on, you must undergo ordeals from 12 spirits. So this is our main goal in the game. We gotta make pacts. I, I, I don't think it, there are pacts in here, as in any tales, but uh, SAWay is gonna come, come and go. He has to rest his eyes, but he's he was here. He'll he'll get here later. Uh, the twelve spirits, summon spirits, called that's what they were called in Tales of Fantasia and, and Symphonia. We're gonna have to meet them, I guess. Ordeals, you mean? Yes, it's the same ordeal you overcame before. You see, Arch, this witch, is one of the six uh, eternal heroes from the first Tales of Fantasia. A strong heart and body will be tested, and I, I must watch over their future. Future, Maha. Please use your power to open the door to ordeal. That's what Archit will do for us. Mm, okay, I will test your power. Don't worry. I will go easy on you. Oh my god! Well, that's not nice and easy. Uh, the good thing about having this on English is that I will have everything. At least my menu is gonna be on English, always. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna use my shortcut. Mm -hmm. Sword brain. Oh, okay. 
let's not waste any more um, time. I don't want to be dying. Heal her. Okay, ice needle. Oi. Okay, I gotta heal myself next time. Thank you. I style this away. Here, there it is. Okay. Ice needle. That was close. Okay, I'm gonna cure her again. Oh, we're done. Okay. Take that arch. Take that in the face. Curing now. This fireball is gonna be dangerous. Oh, sure. Gummy on me again. <gasps> oh my god! Oof. Thought I was a goner. She hates me. When she disappears, it's gonna be glory. Because I'm gonna be. So happy that we're gonna have one. Fireball. You can do it, Guru. Fireball again. I can take it, I can take it. What's my turn? Give me the final blow. Yet, not yet. Not yet. <gasps> Why two times in a row? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Okay, I shall attack. And then, you go and heal her. Gummy. Which whose turn is it? I don't know. Hers. Please don't kill me. I'm dead. I'm a good player. But I am alive again. So don't worry. Take this. <clears throat> and that's how you do it. was good for them. Not bad dude. Your deal will be easy too, maybe. Um, a piece of cake. Easy victory, easy victory. <laughs> oh yeah. What's your favorite food? Mine is fruit punch. It's like what? Arch? What is going on inside your head? Right? Is me soothing. Is this okay? I'll cook for you someday. Okay, good luck. And that is um, Arcana. Arcana card obtained. This is the first title, as in any Tales games, we have the titles. We have the first one. So, Dio, father, he's calling to us. Do you believe in destiny? And the first option is believe, second is don't believe, and third is believe in only the good thing. 
So let's choose one. Hmm, somewhat mysterious. And that's our stats right there. They change, I don't know why. The it has to be like that. Now for Mel. It started to talk. What do you think about Arch? Member of Yuki Senshi, Heroes from Tales of Fantasia, the greatest sorceress. Just as Mel saw, Happy Witch. Or Long Live Half Elf, Well Aged. So I think one. She's a member of the Tales of Fantasia Eternal Heroes. So those are stats now. She's a great person. She went easy on us. Archie's a half elf. I've heard it before, but it's the first time I've met her. Now, now Nord is right here, borrowed Archie's power here. The picture of the sun. So, as I was saying, it doesn't make that much sense now. Because Arch uses the her witch's powers to make these paintings like portals into space-time. So if we concentrate, we're gonna go to another space-time. Only I can travel through, through space-time because I am a Narikirishi. That is what she's saying. I will move this building for you. So our house is gonna move with us through time also. I'm gonna use this tattoo of Martel if I wanna go back to the original time. Where we are, it's in this treasure chest. I don't know what that is. Because we're gonna go see. And Kururu says uh, Kururu's form is level 1. There was nothing in the treasure chest. Strange, strange. For the time being, close the chest. Bueno. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, we don't wanna. Do we? Wanna travel through time? And I think we do. Our next point would be to encounter Sylph, the. Um, what's her name? Sylph. Is the summon spirit of wind. And the, that's our next destination. So. so I can get to where we want to go. Okay. We gotta go to... Well, another information. You don't need to go back to the room to change. From now on, you can change custom with this frog. Yeah. Valhalla, and that was Olive. So, let's try and do. Um, yeah, the thing is, I need to do some grinding so I can level up a little bit faster. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have just changed. this town I can change in here so we can master the other ones okay, let's make a square for her well, hunter yeah okay so we'll go to the tower and train Kill some bees. Yeah. 
So, um, as I was saying, I'm gonna grind a little bit so I can get until level 9. Which we are in level 7, we just gotta get to level 9. So I can actually wear the next uh, costume that I want to create. Which is gonna be the knight costume. Which is... Um, made by combining two of the squire ones we already have. Thank God, I also need money, so it's good. It's all good to grind. You know, in this sort of games, you just gotta do it if you wanna proceed. And I'm using these ones because the bad thing about grinding in a newer dungeon is that I could be very harmed and I won't be able to get out until I get to the top floor, so it has to be easy peasy, patience, that's everything. Okay, so, let me check something, everything's good, everything's good. Shoka, 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 taka. Okay. <laughs> There's a boar, and a boar cave, and it kind of appeared that boar cave before. <laughs> Have I been here? No. Okay, let's see. More treasure chests. It's better because we need items, we can get gold, well gold, and food of course. Oh, talking about it, I wanna put some food in my food bag so I can recover a little bit of HP while I walk. Yeah, I did level up. What happened there? I just learned something. Yeah. I learned a technique. Die. There we go. <laughs> so I hope it is not too boring. Because that's why another good thing about the emulator, I can do it. You see, Guru changed his shape again, I don't know why. But it is better that I can fast forward this. Do it in less time. Which floor is this? Five. Okay, we have another one. We can go up still. And get some treasure. It is funny how everything, it is the shape of the dungeon, the items, the location of the stairs, everything is randomly generated. And I know they give me so little experience, right? Because they are not that much. It's gonna take a while actually. Well, how about we just uh, exactly master the, the outfits and re enter? So I can master another one. It's like a good form of grinding because you're gonna have treasures and items 
that we're gonna need because as in any tales if you if you have played them before the tales are like it'll be a breeze to go through any dungeon when when you get to the boss it tends to get real dark and hard so that's why grinding is necessary Not because I wanted to okay so we can get the story going you will die beast for oh, sure Treasures do I have? Oh, I'm out. You're getting tougher. Ah, another position. There you are. Okay. Ten gold. Another good thing that I wanted to mention is, as opposed to the sort of sequels, because they are not sequels to it, this game, the Narikiri Dungeons 2 and 3 are actually separate stories. They are uh, linked between them, between 2 and 3, but not between this one. Um, but as opposed to that one, in here, when you change your outfits, you just gotta accumulate your custom points so you can get to your master custom, and that's but your level it's still the same. But in the Narakiri dungeons 2 and 3, you will have to start from level 1 every time you change your outfit. I don't personally, I don't like that that much. It is like when you have a Pokemon game, you just start all over when you want to change a Pokemon. And as opposed to a Pokemon, you cannot carry more than one at a time. So, yeah, we'll get to it if I ever uh, finish just one. Maybe I'll do the Narikiri Dungeon with 3, for sure. But it's gonna take a while, you know it. Because RPGs are long as ever. <laughs> so kill the boar. Dead boar. Okay, so how long? Oh, it's master already. Okay. Let's take the 46 points again. We can. Oh, he ran away. Oh. Let's take them, take them. You see, now I can do it real fast because I know I'm not gonna die. I couldn't do that before because I was very low level. Computer is getting very warm. How much experience I am? Do I need? I need eighteen. Oof. Come on. Ten. My 
Jinken. Six. I can use a skill right now. Store. So yeah. Because I am a mage now. Look, he changed again. I don't I don't think I like it very much. Yeah. Okay, we're a little late, we can change outfits again. So we'll have the four of the basic ones mastered by the two of them. Because I don't, I don't know if I like it very much, but we'll, you'll have to master each costume for each character. There we go. Twenty-five gold. Ah, that was aggressive. He did now. Wooden and telekinesis. Mm -hmm. More gummy. Dead. This passes by quickly. There we go. You see, it's it's a breeze when you have fast forward. Bugbear, which floor is it? I have another one. Steel, Lugomi, okay. Buffer again. Hmm, I think maybe if we just go through the tower one more time, we're gonna be good. I know one more time. It has to be done. I'm gonna wear better outfits. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't finish mastering this one. That's weird. I thought 
they were already done. I should have just fought one battle. But okay. Just three more points. It's gonna be Master. It is funny how that Kururu thing is changing shape every now and then and without any reasoning. I, I mean, of course it has to do with the battle points and experience he gets, but I don't know why the form changes. Like from a penguin to this kind of, what would you say it is, like a dinosaur with a horn? I don't know, it's not a dinosaur, it's some creature with a horn. But the good thing is he's powerful and he's on my side, so it's all good. Unicorn. Yeah, he's a unicorn. But it has to be like a horse and this is not doesn't look like a horse at all. Right? Which floor is it? Three, okay. Let's go and change our outfits again. Change into Squire this time and Mage for her. Uh, someday we'll play that one too. So, how many points left? Ah, let's get this over with. Oh. 98, okay, that's not that bad. Got one more floor. Die, bugbear. Just killing in the name. Oh, that was good experience, sixteen. Seventy-two. Maybe I can do it one more time. And yeah, he's dead. Maybe that will be it. This is the last time, I guess. Whew. But as I was saying, I can get treasure chests and items. It's good. So after this awful grinding, we're gonna have a good time in the next dungeon because it's not gonna be that hard. Another difference from the remake is that in the remake you can actually uh, use the eternal warriors in your party. And the party, as in any tales, is of four instead of three, as it is in this one. Because you cannot be any other characters than these three in these tales, but you can wear countless of different costumes. the boar. There you go. 
How much health do I have? A thousand, that's good. 30 more points and we're gonna be out of here. But as you can see, I have more and more HP, which is good. And I will have a little bit more even when I have my improved costume. Uh, for example, that means I already cannot carry more of blue gummies. So I'll use one so I can. There you go. Mm -hmm. Which floor? Five. One more. Twenty experience to go. Sixteen. Oh yes. Yeah, he did. Twelve. Oh, my back is hurting. I cannot... <sighs> what was that? Six more? so I can have the squire and mage available. I'm gonna buy another set of those. So what I did, I just bought a squire and a mage and I'm gonna combine squire and squire to make the knight costume. Then the flame mage for Mel with two mages. Let's see no. We're gonna have and as you can see the as these outfits are obviously more uh, leveled up, they require two hundred and forty custom points to master. But it's going to be really good for us. So let's travel through time to the past where our other hero, um, Clark, should be there. Four thousand two hundred and three. This is the town we were want to be. It's been one year since Clark returned here. So they're telling us that Clark returned from being the eternal hero with all, all of the other heroes. And this is her piece. Not girlfriend, but some something like that. You must be a guest. Cute. Here, he doesn't need it anymore. It might be useful to you. Oh, they gave us the enemy log. That's good. Where do we see that? Special? No. Accessory? I didn't equip my accessories, I am so stupid. Badges, no custom stuff. What? Where is it? Where would it be? Item? Yes. And this is our enemy. Look at Arch. That's 
about it, seven. So let's see what Clark has to say. As you can see, it's supposed to be in English, but oh surprise, it is not. So he says, uh, 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 who are you? You two. You are Clark. You are. You are a spirit? No, it's different. Somehow, I see different aura. I am Norn. Revival of lost summoning skills. Great scholar Clark. I have a favor to ask you. How do you know about me? Besides, these kids who the... These two are burdened with big sin. I don't know what we did, but apparently we did something wrong in the past. Which is weird, because we're kids. <laughs> mm. And among the six Jiku Senshi, which means heroes. You know the best about that. What are you talking about? That's... For the time being, I can't let these two hear it yet. But we did. Clark, I will only let you listen. From Arch of the Future. I see. Ha ha ha. Still the same. I can't understand that. I myself traveled through space time before. Daos. Daos, did he. Really? Is that so. So mana is. Can't believe it. Too cruel. These two must find themselves on their own. For that reason, I am borrowing your hero's powers. Clark, please believe me. You two who travel through space time. You two. How much do you know about the Tao's war? That look, then, it's like this. Long ago, a man named Daos appeared out of nowhere. He attacked the country named Midgard. That was the beginning of the war against Invader Daos. There were people opposing Daos. They were swordman Kles and his friends. With Kles and his friends' action, Daos was defeated. Peace had returned to the world. These are actually the events of Tales of Fantasia that he is uh, recalling right now. Still, still humans are, they make history with their liking, right? No, they, they make history with their own liking, right? The reality isn't that simple. If the ruined Midgars had no faults, and Daos was a brutal, inhuman invader, I would answer no. War is a collision of each other's justice. Daos had a hatred for mana science, or magic technology, which is called how it's called in the American tales. Mana science, which consumes mana. Mana is supernatural source of power. Mana science consumes large amounts of mana, especially the mana weapon which was built for the purpose of war. It almost dried up the world mana tree Duke Dressel. Daos couldn't forgive that existence. Soon, you will meet Kles. He will let you tell you more about Daos. Here it is, the crest of wind I used to have. If you carry it, the entrance of the Valley of Wind will be opened. And that's what he gives us right now. Perfect. So, now we can go back 
to the um, well, no back. We can go to to confront Silk, and that's where we'll leave this stream for now. So. We'll, we'll see the where the adventures of these two little kids we have, which do have a mysterious destiny because they have sinned before, but we don't know what they did. So we now have Clark and Arch on our side, so we can uh, start meeting the ordeals of the twelve spirits. The first one is Sylph. So we'll keep on going with Sylph the next time. And I think maybe we'll uh, have our beer tasted right now. I'll just go get it. But it was very good. I like this stream because it was not that long and we advanced more than last time. So this is a beer. Okay, it's an IPA, it's supposed to be red, right? Suppose? Supposing! Supposing I am. Ah, see the profile. That's red. Yeah, it's reddish. So it's a Mexican red IPA. So that's what we do. Cold games, Aguamala. Games and beers. Mm, 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 mm. El, El mismo ese güey. Eh? El mismo ese güey. That's a me. I do love IPAs. Mm -hmm. So cheers. Cheers. It was a good stream, Chosbe. Thank you for being here. And we'll see what ventures depart us from the next street. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. let's taste this. I think I, I have to be like here. That's that's yeah. the stuff. Oh I do like it. Yeah. I do like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh yeah. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna translate the beer <laughs> things, but because I don't know every word. This is really amarga. But, I it, see, but no? it is strong. Five, five point four. This alcohol. is strong. This like, is strong. It's not a tasty IPA. I don't know how to say it. It's not that tasty. It's mm -hmm. just a, a really strong one. It is strong. I like it. I like the stronger the beer. I don't know. Who <laughs> says amarga? Bitter. Okay, so I like bitter IPAs, and this is like super bitter. Super bitter. Yeah. Way too much. Way too much on the taste buds. It's bad water. But that's good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what did you get to? Bitter sweet. Bueno, ya, ya que acabaste, ya puedes hablar en español, ¿no? Sí. Bittersweet Symphony. Yeah, <laughs> good song, ¿eh? Nah, no, está, no está tan bittersweet. Está bitter a más no poder. Güey. Está súper amarga, chosme. Sí. Pero está buena. Ojalá pueda estar aquí con nosotros, Bisbe. Ajá. Gracias por compartir. Wey, 
Sí, qué chido que estás, estuviste. Sí. Me no, avise. Ahorita te contesto tus mensajes, no te enojes. Ahora que vuelvas a venir, sí nos echamos una de estas. Sí, está chida. Todavía tenemos varias. Este... Ufa. Ufa. Bueno, dice uff. Pues bisbe hay que armarla. Gas en no tani. Las parecidas. Ah. Ufa, ¿eh? Ufa, machos de alo. Chos ve. En everyone in here. Capuz ve. ¿Eh? We are games and beers. Good beer, good game, protect yourself. Love you too, Chisbe. I love you so much, my Chisbe. ¿Me haría algo? 